everyone welcome to my channel I have popped on today to show you some beautiful mail that I received um, this is a journal that I ordered a little while back from Frosted Bramble Carol from Frosted Bramble used to have a lovely Facebook page with the most beautiful pieces of artwork on on her page on her posts and that's where I first saw her beautiful work and just had to order myself a lovely journal from Carol and it arrived so I'm just so excited I've been waiting for this and it came wrapped in this lovely um, pretty washi tape which I'll carefully take off and use again so I don't really want to damage the paper Gorgeous package here from Carol with a lovely little note which I'll just take aside and this beautiful, beautiful journal. Absolutely gorgeous Carol. It's so lovely. Carol puts so much work and effort into her lovely journals and she always has beautiful slow stitching and the most gorgeous flowers fabric flowers and she does a lot of lovely fabric work in her journals and they're just so beautiful and so feminine with lovely antique lace and they always have some genuine antique bits and pieces in them this one is in lovely shades of jade green and sort of a moss green really beautiful aqua colour some lovely cream with this gorgeous picture of a little girl on the front and she's added layers to that like the base is it's a beautiful handmade um, hand stitched on the back but the base is a beautiful linen fabric upholstery type fabric and from that base she has worked up with the most gorgeous of sari silks some lovely linen cotton fabric and some muslin and hand stitched handmade onto it there with this most delicate little tiny I don't know if you can see the tiny little stitches that are in there and she's got a lovely little card in the back there on the front we've got some beautiful pieces of lace a little applique piece there a little hand stitched piece of grunged up calico is it linen beautiful anyway there and inside all of her little roses which are a little bit squashed from traveling but I'm sure they'll fluff up in time when they've been out of the packaging for a while she has hand stitched the most delicate of tiny little seed beads inside each little rose there I don't know if you can see them, they're so tiny. But it's her attention to detail that really caught my eye because it's something that I really love for myself. So we'll open up this lovely sari silk and have a peek inside at her beautiful work. Just gorgeous. And inside we have the most beautiful shades of blue, which is my absolute favourite colour. I love blues especially blue and white together it's really pretty and it just adds that little bit of freshness and life to it so we have a lovely little piece of fabric here which has little stitched flowers on it and it's layered on a little piece of lace that's on a gorgeous um, paper clip it's a paper clip tag and it has Oxford, December 1896. So it's a little fragment of some very old papers there. And she's layered that up with some collage. And on the back it has a pretty piece of lace. And she's collaged that as well. So on both sides it's, it's divine. So that just tucks onto the side piece there. And she's got a lovely tag in there with some nice linen and silk fabric 
on the top and both sides are beautiful sewn all around tucked into a nice little corner pocket which has a lovely trim uh, punched on the edge and over here we've got this gorgeous piece of linen cloth which is clearly an antique piece of linen tablecloth or something like that and she's sewn her little frosted bramble um, piece of linen in there in here we've got a really nice little flip envelope and she has collaged that up really nicely as you can see it's like a little pay envelope she's collaged that with some butterfly wings and flowers and beautiful pieces of blue cloth and the back is just as gorgeous just little cute little snippets of everything really pretty and a little piece of words then hope for a prosperous on there which could relate to anything in the future so moving over I'll just take that off for a moment we've got a nice piece of echo dyed paper on this side beautiful leaf prints in here Ex Libris this book belongs to beautiful and over here there's a lovely piece of collaged paper with some gorgeous poppies on it just has that lovely vintage feel about it some lined paper some tea stained coffee stained paper a nice piece of graph paper with a cute little snippet on there paper snippet and one of my favorite elements of her journals is the bunnies she has hairs in her journals and that one is gorgeous we have a tag here with daisies on and some nice sari ribbon silk ribbon on the top some lovely music paper and some more of that lovely blue paper which she's collaged really nicely here with a little stamp on the top a tiny postage stamp just beautiful Carol it's lovely oh look at this sweet little envelope isn't that just darling that's so pretty it's kind of got an aqua and gold color on it I guess it's been painted with something treated it's really nice pretty and here we've got a gorgeous little British hair stamp that's really pretty I don't know if you can see that little stamp there so sweet so she's got a little bit of collaging on that corner of that pocket which is sweet this is unusual it's quite textured paper so it's brown paper that's been probably gessoed maybe and it's really textured it feels lovely so you not only have something to look at you've got something to feel the different textures and layers of as well I think I've got this one here I've got music paper brown paper a nice piece of torn writing page collaged which is sort of a it's a wrap around of the page some more of that graph paper a beautiful blue wash washed paper oh and here we have a gorgeous middle section of a signature a winding overgrown path led to a hidden treasure in the middle of the forest and another beautiful hair and these dear little hearts on the bottom of the threads gorgeous this both the kitties seem to want to join in today they both want to have a play and have a look and see what's going on here so this is Lucy say hello Lucy and Ollie's decided to perch up on his little window seat so he can watch from afar haven't you Ollie so they've both joined in I'll just zoom up so you can see him on his 
there he is on his little window seat <laughs> looking out the window they always seem to want to join in when there's happy mail camera cut off in the middle of what we were talking about and we just got to this really lovely page which is absolutely beautiful in the middle with our lovely hair nice blue blue page and it has this gorgeous flower fussy cut which is a well it looks to be like an angel's trumpet I don't know if they come in blue but um, it's that style of flower and Carol has fussy cut all of this out and layered it on to the collage which makes it look really spectacular I think and it really does look like a nighttime scene because she has the black in the background and it's just looking like sort of a, a moonlit scene really with the depth going on here really nice center page it has two signatures and that's the middle of the first signature so that's lovely and she has some blue staining on the back of that page too which looks really nice oh and she also added in this little surprise package which I thought was so sweet thanks Carol it's lovely um, that you can add to your journal which is really nice because I've got some cute books cute little things to add that she has made little bits of collaging some lovely leaves to add and they are put onto little pieces of book page and they look so cute and then she has some here that are on like calico strips of little pot plants and leaves I'm not sure if that's in focus there for you to see but so she has given me quite a little collection to work with and they'll all be going in little spots along the way as I journal and add bits and pieces to this lovely book so there's quite a handful there for me to work with which is really lovely and it came in this really nice little envelope like a glassine style envelope so I'll scoop those back into there they will be fun to play with okay so we're back over to some plain pages for writing on I'll soon fill those up I'm sure and then we come over to this little tea bag style pocket which has the strings coming out the side I'm not sure if it is it looks like it might be a tea bag that's being decorated up but it's truly truly lovely I'm not sure if I mentioned before that on Carol's page she has not only journals but she also does the most magnificent journal covers so if you're just looking for a beautiful cover like this style of thing um, and you don't want to make your own cover or you're not confident enough to do something as beautiful she does sell covers so that you can actually make your own journal inside and, and use her beautiful covers so if you pop over to her Etsy shop you'll see what I mean she does have some if they haven't all sold out she does have some up there to have a look at and they are beautiful she does all different sizes there's some cute little mini journals so you could make a, a smaller one if you prefer so anyway back to where we were which was the rose I think I've lost my space it's all too beautiful yeah. so back to the rose with beautiful bloom with pretty pink flower little collage on the corner with the lovely hand stitch seed stitches in there and those are the things that really make it special those little extra treats it's the small things that mean a lot lovely little zigzag stitch down there just to give it a little bit of texture and something interesting some interest and here we have another hand drawn hair and isn't he a gorgeous little character 
Over the hills and far away, in the meadows where the hares all play, see them jump and twist and turn. It looks like it's from a children's book, but it's like hand drawn, it's really lovely. So that tucks into that really nice little pocket there on the corner. We have a lovely pocket here, and this is gorgeous. It's a little house. It's a tag, a house tag, and she's stitched little windows on, little hearts, sweet little roof with a chimney. Just gorgeous, and it's got some eco dyed paper. You can see the pretty leaves coming through on the back. Oh, hello, Ollie. You've come to have a look, have you, Ollie? Sorry about Ollie's tail being in the way there. Move over, Ollie. Okay, we have a lovely page here that's got a beautiful blue flower on it. Really pretty and a lovely buzzy bee. So it's a nice collaged page. And some dyed paper, some eco dye with that gorgeous leaf pattern coming through. Really pretty. And this is like a wallpaper pattern on here. There's beautiful blues coming through. They really just bounce out from the page and give it some life. So you have a lovely little pocket here with a cigarette card and a, and a beautiful anemone on the front. So that's a dear little pocket that has a lovely punched trim and tucks in very carefully into that lovely side tuck. We've got a belly band here which is really nice and a botanical tag which looks like more eco dyed paper yes <laughs> she has eco dyed on the back it's really pretty very nice it's those little touches that make all the difference I think all stitched around the edges beautiful wallpaper style print page some more eco dyed paper there but isn't it beautiful I mean the patterns that are coming up in that absolutely gorgeous really pretty here we've got some like some sewing paper all scrunched and sewn adding some texture to the corner lovely and some nice pink pinks and blues in the vellum it's printed vellum which is interesting adding a little bit more interest you can see through that another of the tuck over wrap over papers with writing on. It's really nice, I like that. Another little tag that says Joy and has some interest on the corner with this pretty little fabric collage. Sweet little bow. There's a rose pattern in the background, which may be a stencil, and some lovely ribbon on the top, sari silk. And then we've got that little punched edge on the back that wraps around and tucks into this gorgeous little side tuck here. On this side we have a lovely tag which is like a postcard. There's no place like home. It's a fabric collage. It is a postcard actually. It is a postcard. And a lovely piece of journaling card on some music paper there and a sweet little corner tuck. This is gorgeous. Hand sewn little pocket out of some green paper, which is very soft, like textured paper, like maybe it's painter's paper or something. And it has honesty on it, the plant. And it's all hand stitched around. Really lovely. Have some dyed paper music paper that's been gessoed over with a very interesting sewing stitch that adds texture to the side interest an interesting little tag on the top there with some cute little flowers drawn on very special nice blue dyed paper so again this beautiful blue dyed page with the lovely little hearts hanging from the strings, really pretty. Some more of the lined paper and the graph paper squares. 
This is lovely. A chandelier hung from the plaster ceiling. And she's got this gorgeous chandelier here, which is probably a stencil, I'd say. Very lovely. And we have a little paper collage on the corner. The snippet with these cute little cut-out leaves and all sewn around. Some music paper that's been gessoed over and it's got Polly put the kettle on and little boy blue come blow your horn the sheep are in the meadow and the cows are in the corn this says my ships come home and she's got this little collage of lovely soft strings which adding texture to that little envelope there and inside there there's a pretty butterfly cigarette card beautiful and a lovely tag with some beautiful writing on it the old writing really is so pretty it's really lovely and we've got some nice silk ribbon there lovely sari silk lovely stamp here in a beautiful soft aqua color is it a stamp I think it might be it's either a stamp or a sticker I'm not sure very nice lovely. Some more of that texture paper. And in this one we've got a little envelope that has a poppy, poppy field stamp on it and all watercolour painted. Looks really pretty. Very nice. Oh, front and back. Beautiful. So that tucks into that little side tuck which is stamp, um, punched on the edges and has some pretty little pieces of fabric and yet cut in the shape of stamps all over to collage it. Another belly band with another lovely postcard which is all hand stitched piece of fabric on the on the postcard and she's added a little stamp to the corner which is cute. It says home. So that's nice. It's got writing space on the back for more journaling. So that was in the belly band there. And over this side we have the other half of the vellum that's printed on with the pretty pinks in it. Some beautiful eco-dyed paper with leaves coming through there lovely big leaves you can see the veins of the leaves and the and the leaf shapes coming out in the print and the back of the journal now the last page you have that lovely paper that looks like wallpaper and the most gorgeous little cross stitch piece that is so sweet as i said before it's the little things that make the difference and that just I think sets it off so nicely. We've got all this lovely antique lace down the bottom. Lovely little tag here, which you can write on the back. The cute little ribbon. The other side of that beautiful cloth, which may be a tablecloth or dresser cloth. It feels like Irish linen, it's beautiful. And in here we have a real fabric envelope all pieced together and hand stitched delicately she has stitched that little applique piece on and a dear little postmark and a couple of sweet little pieces of fabric on top and made that sweet little envelope isn't that cute so that just tucks in there. The back is sort of a satin type fabric that has a pattern on it and she has just tucked that little envelope in there. Got this little journaling card here which tells you what a junk journal is and what you use it for from Frosted Bramble and all this pretty drawing on there and the lovely sari silk and of course the back which I showed you earlier which is hand stitched that lovely handmade emblem on there 
it's just beautiful absolutely lovely to hold it's soft you know it's a nice size to hang on to and it will be lovely to work in the picture of the little girl is just gorgeous divine she's so pretty her journals are absolutely beautiful so if you're looking for Carol she's on Instagram as Frost, Frosted Bramble and she has um, she no longer has a Facebook page but she does have an Etsy store I'll list them below her Instagram is at Frosted Bramble and her Etsy shop is Frosted Bramble so I'll list those below so that you can actually find them Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this lovely Frosted Bramble journal and yep, go over to her page and have a look at what other lovely ones she makes because they are absolutely gorgeous. And thank you again so much Carol, um, fighting with the current COVID postage situations. Carol managed to send it off very quickly and it got here in very short time so that was amazing because once you put your babies out there they've kind of you know it's it's in the lap of the gods as to when and where they arrive so thank you Carol for all your trouble and I'm really appreciative of that I'm so thrilled to actually have one to hold now of my own so thank you very much and please go over and look up Frosted Bramble and I'll list below where you can catch up with her Instagram and her Etsy shop. Okay, bye for now. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hello, Lucy. Hello. Hi, Lucy. Oliver's snoozing on his perch.